So we're going with a little bit of a spring difference here today. So right now the truck's got these 12HT 170s in it and we're swapping over to the 12HD 150s. So what that is, is this is a 170 pound spring and we're going a little bit softer because we've noticed that the truck's been a little bit stiff in the rear. So we went with a little bit softer spring, cleaned up the old shock and we're gonna throw it back together. We're gonna do that for the other side and uh, see what kind of difference it makes. I'm on the rock guys. So today we are putting some weight in the back of the truck. We realized that she's a little light in the rear, so we're gonna be adding a little bit of weight. We've been contemplating what we wanna do with it. We got these black plates here that are pretty heavy. It's just a big chunk of steel. And we didn't think that would look so hot, so we just came up with this. Uh, we got this tube here, and we put we capped the two ends, and we filled it with some of this play sand. Just to add some weight to it. And we filled that with, uh, we put coolant in it as well, just to make it as heavy as we can. They're about 40 pounds, uh, 40 pounds each. And we're gonna be putting it in the bed of the truck. It'll go right where these bolt holes are on each side. So we'll have the two plates there. So it'll put about 80 pounds in the bed. So we're just getting them all sanded down now. I got one painted up and it's drying over here now. So you won't even be able to tell what it is in the bed of the truck. So we just got the weights put back in the rear of the truck. I don't know if y'all can see it, but we got to put it back there. So we're going to do some testing and see how it feels. So uh, we're out here testing it now. I think we sent her a little too hard. Got a little bit of oil. I think it's from, we were just going well over a hundred. I think the tranny just doesn't quite agree with that. It got pretty hot. It was smoking a little bit. You can see the ground. It just sprayed it kind of all the way everywhere. It was really pushing it out. So I don't know if we're going to have to make some kind of catch can for it or something, but I know the tranny is real hot that or some kind of bigger cooler or something i don't know but that was pushed out a bunch huh? said it pushed out quite a bit it sprayed pretty good right here you can see it on the road yeah it's weird that it sprayed it out yeah it didn't just like oh, yeah, it didn't really spray i don't know it ain't good though so our little test of uh maxing out a little what kind of speed it will do uh, we got it up to almost 130 and i was having a little weird vibration in the rear and it looked like 
we <clears throat> looks like the output bushing on the tail shaft welded itself to the output shaft because this is pull this back you can kind of see the bushing right there yeah. it's spinning inside the transmission so we didn't lose the bushing or mess up the back of the tail shaft so i'm hoping i can get this apart and be able to replace that and get it pressed back in but i don't know why that tail shaft would seize like that um but it kind of blew oil all the way to the tail oh yeah back here. it's dripping right off the so she don't like that <laughs> i don't know if i had the angle off a little bit since i did lower it a little bit more but it wasn't that much more so i don't know if it's the tail house of the transmission that was doing it so yeah i have to figure it out know. real quick though we'll get this thing together yeah we gotta jam her apart and slap it back together as fast as i can because we got stuff coming up well uh that wasn't exactly the way we were expecting it the truck handled good but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just kind of with our gearing, we wanted to kind of know what kind of speed it will do. Yeah, we wanted to test out what kind of speeds it could hit on a, a faster track. On a big open track. So, um, yeah, <laughs> on a big, speed, but, uh, <laughs> it did the speed, but didn't, no didn't quite like it. So we'll have to figure that one out. Well, this is the moment of truth, boys. Good. Uh, so that's good. Okay. Mm, that's nothing. Yeah. It's just clutch stuff. So that's the bushing on the back of the tail housing. We might be able to just hammer it back in. It doesn't look, doesn't look bad. No, it looks, it's okay. Uh, it didn't seize to the output, it didn't seize to this. Yeah, it's weird, it didn't seize yeah. out. It's like it just backed out. It's it weird. It got hot. It definitely got hot. But that's normal but wear, didn't... no groove or nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I don't know. Maybe it just backed up. A little out. hot on that spot there. Yeah. I think that drive shaft vibration at that speed, because yeah. it's 7,000 RPMs, one to one. That drive shaft's spinning pretty damn quick. 7,000 RPMs. <laughs> <laughs> the drive shaft guy asked me, he goes, well, how many RPMs is it gonna run? I'm like, easy seven. And I cranked it to, you know, the motor will do. 7600? Yeah. It's good for as long as you hold the pedal down. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to bore you, bore you guys with us putting it back together, so I didn't record it. But uh, we lubed up that bushing and we got it back into the truck. Um, it did not seize to the input shafts, which is, or output shafts, which is great. So we were able to slide it back in and we just RTV'd the cap back on. And we sold the drive shaft back in. We just got back from a little test drive with it and there seemed to be no issues. We, you know, we put new fluids in it. Since the oil that came out of it uh, was kind of burnt, but uh, it seems to be running fine now. So uh, we're just gonna center this weekend. And we got an, another SCCA race, so uh, we're just gonna send it. Truck's running good now. Hopefully uh, it'll happen again. That's all I got for y'all. Go check out the merchandise. The link down in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later, Stinky.